Hello, this is Miss Kelly from Miss Kelly's Corner, and I want to welcome you to my channel. I would appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to make these adorable baby barefoot sandals in size 6 to 18 months. The supplies you're going to need are light worsted weight yarn for both the flower and the sandal base, size F crochet hook, a yarn needle, and scissors. You're going to start with a magic circle. And here's the magic circle with the hook through it. In this project, the chain two will always count as a stitch. So chain two. And there they are. Then double crochet two in the magic circle. And that means to put two double crochets in it. So right now we've got the chain two here. And then here is the double crochet number one. So we still need to put another one in there. So there's double crochet number one. And double crochet number two. So in this row we have three stitches. One, two, three, since this counts as a double crochet. Chain two again, and notice here that your chain two is on the left hand side of this part of the project. Okay, so you turn your work around now, and then the chain two is now on the right hand side of this project. You see that? If you're a beginner, I just wanted to make that note of uh, how it looks. Double crochet in the same stitch. So you have your chain two here. And see that little hole right above my dot? That is the stitch at the bottom of the chain two. And that is the stitch that it's talking about when it says to double crochet in the same stitch. So you can see here that I have double crocheted in it. Right there's my double crochet. Can you see that? That's double crochet number one. Then you need to double crochet across the row. Double crochet number two and three. Now you need to chain two. And there they are. Turn your work around now. Then double crochet in the same stitch. So we have our chain two and double crochet number one right here and there's the little stitch at the bottom of the chain two. There's double crochet number one, double crochet across the row, there's number two, number three, and number four. So look at this row here and I didn't count them in the previous row but in this row since the chain two counts as a double crochet in this row we have five stitches, so we've got a chain two, double crochet number one, two, three, and four, so that's five stitches. Chain two again. So you can notice there's the same pattern for each row. We are just increasing a, uh, each row by one stitch. There's our chain two. Turn your work around. Then double crochet in the same stitch. Just like before, it's the stitch at the bottom of the chain two. Here's our chain two, and there's the stitch. There's double crochet number one, number two, three, and four, and five. So in this row, we have six stitches. Right here's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six stitches in this row. Now chain two again, just like before. It's really pretty easy. There's our chain one and chain two. Turn your work around. Now we're gonna do a different stitch. Instead of a double crochet, you need to half double crochet in the same stitch. So we've got our chain two, which is right here. And here's the stitch at the bottom of the chain two, right above my dot. Now. You need a half double crochet in that stitch. And there's half double crochet number one. So in this row, the chain two is going to count as a half double crochet. 
Right there's our number one and there's our chain two. Then single crochet in the next three stitches. So here's single crochet, number one, number two, number three, and then half double crochet in the last two stitches. There's number half double crochet number two and half double crochet number three. So in this row, you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stitches in this row. You should have four half double crochets and three single crochets. I hope that makes sense. Now I want to make a note of this last stitch of each row, the one on the far left, is actually the chain, the chain two from the previous row that you're going to go into. And it is a little bit more difficult to get your hook through, but it's possible. So just know that it's nothing that you're doing wrong. It's just that that last stitch is a little more difficult. So there's seven stitches. Now you need to chain one. And there it is. And then now we're going to single crochet down the left side of the sandal. Do you see this? Just evenly space them down the left side. Now we're at the end of the left side and then single crochet in the magic circle. Now this magic circle is the magic circle we started with when we started the base part of the sandal. So single crochet in the magic circle. Then chain six. So here's our single crochet right here. We need to chain six. You see the stitches? Or the chains, I mean? You chain six and then single crochet in the magic circle again. And if you'll notice here, here's the first single crochet in the magic circle. Here is our chain, our chain six. And then here's our last single crochet in the magic circle. You see this little loop here? That's the chain six. That is the little loop that will go around the baby's toe. Now you need to tighten the magic circle. Now when we started off, we had, this is like the magic circle tail right here. And then this is the yarn that is connected to uh, my ball of yarn. So you need to pull this yarn right here and tighten the magic circle. And you can see here that I have pulled it and is no longer loose. We have our loop for the toe. Now, when I get to this point, I always like to tie a knot. And there's my knot. Now, usually I tie a double knot when it comes to um, Karen Simply Soft. It's, it's a yarn that's a little more slick, in my opinion, and the knots can come loose easier. So, that's just my way of doing things. You can do it the way you want, but that's what I want to do. Now, I tie a knot here most of the time, but you could, if you wanted to, wait until you got up here to tie a knot. As you go up the right side of the sandal, I, what I do is I usually hide my tail in my stitches that I go up the right side. So I, I, I don't have as much to hide later if I want to. So single crochet up the right side of the sandal. And you can see this. Just evenly space them. Now you need to chain 30. And we're making the tie number one. Then this is the tie that's on the right hand side of the sandal. If you're looking at the top of it. Then I cut my yarn from the ball of yarn. I cut it there. You need to tie a knot at the top of the chain, the 30 chains for your tie number one. And here's where I tied my knots. And I tied a double knot here just to make it more secure. Then you need to cut your yarn oh, fairly close to the knots. 
I think I probably left maybe a half an inch or so here, but you can leave however much you want to leave there. Then you need to attach the yarn to the other corner. When I do this, I tie a knot um, when I uh, attach it, and usually a double knot. Chain 30 for tie number two. Cut your yarn and tie a knot and a double knot like before, if you like. And then cut off the excess yarn and then your ties are finished. After that, you need to insert the yarn. Let's see, this is your first yarn tail. This is the tie number one. So insert the yarn tail from the first one into the yarn needle and start hiding that tail. And you hide the tail on the back of the sandal. And what is left, now this is the front of the sandal. You know, this is where we attach the yarn to the other corner. Okay, whenever you do that, I like to leave about a 12 to 15 inch yarn tail. We will use that later to attach our flower. So now what you need to do is start the flower. So for the flower, start with a magic circle. And here is the magic circle with the hook through it. Chain two, and there they are. Double crochet two in the magic circle. There's double crochet number one, and then double crochet number two. Chain two again, and then slip stitch in the magic circle. When you do this, you have completed your first petal. And if you'll notice here, here is the first chain two, the first double crochet, the second double crochet, and the last chain two with the slip stitch here. That is your first petal. Now to start your second petal, you need to chain two again. Double crochet two in the magic circle. See, there they are. And then chain two again and slip stitch in the magic circle. You've completed petal number two. You're going to continue with these stitches until you have five or six petals. Right here, I have three. One, two, three. There's four. And here are five petals. So here they are. One, two, three, four, and five. My next step is to tighten the magic circle. And I did that before this picture. This is the front of the flower. And if you'll notice the little V's like we discussed before, see that? Now you need to cut your yarn and tie a knot on the back of the flower so you don't see the V's like you did on the front. It's a little different. We'll go back. Can you see the difference? It's like the little V's are laying on the side of the petals on the front. See, you can tell a difference. So after you tie your knots, I usually make a double knot, you need to hide your yarn tails and they're hidden in this, but this is the front of the flower. Now we're going to attach the flower to the base of the sandal. Insert your sandal yarn tail into the yarn needle, and this is the long yarn tail, and this is the back of the sandal right here. So you've got that yarn tail in there. Work your way down the back of the sandal under the stitches until you get to the middle of the sandal. And remember, do this on the back of the sandal base. Now work your way down the back of the sandal under the stitches until you get to the middle. So we worked our way down here and then over to the middle. Now this is the front of the sandal, or the top you could say. Bring your needle through the middle to the top of the sandal. Now we were on the back before. Now this is the top and here's the needle. There's the yarn. Now go up through the center of the flower and down through the flower petal between the two double crochets. Now can you see this? 
this is the first double crochet and here's the other one so each petal has two double crochets in in them and you're going to go down between each double crochet in each petal or between the two double crochets now here it is you can you can see the white there's it's kind of light colored there but it's between double crochet number one and double crochet number two in that petal now I'm going to let you see this as it goes around four and five now since I had five petals I'm going to have five stitches right here where I'm attaching it. You could stop at this point if you want, and it looks fine. Sometimes I think I may want to stop that way, you know, at that point. But I went on around, and I went between each petal now. Before, I went between the two double crochets. Now I am going between the two petals. Here is the chain two of this petal, chain two here, and the chain two of this petal. So I went between both of those. And you continue around until you go between each petal. Once you have that completed, you need to hide your yarn tails in the back of the sandal. And I always tie a knot first. Now we only have the one yarn tail in this case. So I should have just said yarn tail. And there it is, it's I tied a knot and then I hid it on the back. There's the front with it attached. And there's an up close view of it. Now, enjoy the following photos of these baby barefoot sandals and others that I have made. I want to thank you for watching this video here at Miss Kelly's Corner. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.